So today I'm going to show you an example of stitching software. Stitching software is really useful if you have um, large records such as maps, plans or posters where you can't comfortably take a photo of the whole item without losing some of the detail. With stitching software, you can take close up consecutive photographs of the large item and then use the software to stitch them together to create a composite image that you can zoom in and out of. So first of all, I'm going to show you Image Composite Editor, uh, which is uh, an example of stitching software. There are many different brands, uh, but this one is available from Microsoft Office. So if you look at the top left corner, you can click on New Panorama from Images. This takes you to a File Explorer window. Uh, this is one I've set up earlier, but you can access your images from wherever you store them on your computer's filing system. Uh, but so before we put them into the program, the first thing to do is to ensure that all the all the small images are cropped and you've removed anything such as the uh, the weights that were used to hold down the the uh, item before you photographed it. Once you're happy with how the individual images look, if you then select all of the um, photos in the folder and then select open, that will import them onto the program. Next thing to do is to go to sort by and select capture time. This will uh, arrange the images in the order uh, in which they were originally photographed, and that will allow uh, the program to um, put them together in the correct order. If you see at the top right here, it's a simple panorama. If you then select planar motion, so this means that all of the photographs will be then displayed flat on the on the screen. So sometimes when you take a photo at a slight angle, that will be reflected in the image. Uh, but with planar motion, it ensures that all of the uh, documents are um, viewed as flat on the screen. If you then click onto the stitch button, so after a, a few seconds or a couple of minutes, depending on how large the item is, uh, the um, computer program will start to align the images together uh, to create uh, a composite image. Okay, so now we've come to the stitching screen and you can see that the image hasn't been stitched together. You have a grid overlaying it, so you can um, use this to change the alignment if you, of the image if you wish. So you can drag and click on the image and move it around if you need to. You can also uh, zoom in and out using the um, sliding scale at the top here. And here you can use it just to check in that the uh, images have indeed um, kind of fitted together properly. So when you're happy with that, you can then click crop. So now we're on the crop screen and you'll see there is a yellow box around the image. If you again drag and click on this, you can use it to crop any extraneous uh, parts of the image out of it. So for example, if you have reference numbers or weights, you can use this to crop them out. When you're happy with that, if you then click on to export and you'll see those extra pieces have been removed. So when you're happy with the image, again, zoom in and out just to check. You can see that the detail um, is still really good there. And when you're happy with it, if you can then export the image. So you can file to um, save to a JPEG or a TIFF image. Uh, we're going to do a TIFF image in this instance, uh, JPEG image in this instance. Uh, so if I export it to disk, uh, you can save it in the same place as the original images, or you can have a new place for it. Uh, just click save, and then it'll export the um, image. And here you can see the final uh, composite image of the, the map. So as you can see, it's a really useful method for ensuring you can still see lots of detail on a record um, without having to sort of photograph the whole thing in one go. So I hope you find this useful. Thank you very much.